Welcome back everyone, let's play Rule of Waves 2 as Austria Hungary, episode number 10. I did have some technical difficulties trying to use my mod, so this is uh, potentially... I think everything's the same as it was. Um, what we have here is maybe too many Indicas. Uh, so I, actually, I, I just loaded up and started playing for a second, but I got into a battle with one of my new armored cruisers, which I would have been really happy to play with, in Iceland, of all places. However... Because I essentially borked it. Actually, you know what? I might be able to load back into that. Let, let me just go ahead and try to load back. Because the, the initial battle save should exist. Basically, I hit next turn and something happened. Um, I tried to use my order of battle editor. Um, actually, it, it's fine. I mean, it won't it won't matter. I can use it. It's just I, I was trying to move ships using the adjustments for longitude and latitude. And it wasn't working. Um, so, let me, let me just go back in now. Good, 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 good. It's working. Okay. So I was kind of crazy. I was trying to bring the... Uh, my Order of Battle Editor allows you to move the divisions from the coastal forces into the main force. This is just in case you have a scouting force. So it's not supposed to work with the coastal forces. I mean, basically, it's a kind of um, not... A, it's not something I've tested. Anyways, I was trying to move these corvettes next to me. <laughs> So that I could control them like they were a destroyer group. Now these only have a speed of 17, so they're they're, they're really not that good. I mean they're they're terrible. So it was basically just a really bad idea. So let's just fight this as normal. I don't need to use order of battle editor on this. Although it was kind of a, a fun, goofy thing to try. Obviously the uh, behavior of the mod is uh, completely unknown if you play around with moving ships. So that's what happened here. Objective, we don't have one. So should we at least be running into somebody? I don't remember what the circumstances of this battle are. Turns out, doesn't matter. Let's go up to squad max. Okay, we're gonna go this way to go with the wind. Oh wow, it's actually a light cruiser, fantastic. We might be faster than them. Oh, we aren't, but we are almost. Because we're even speed. I think we're actually gaining on them right now. We just need to not turn. They should be able to outmaneuver us um, if they want to do some turning. See if we can just get a hit or two. Anything to knock down their speed. Okay, let me actually stop firing for 10 minutes. Just want to pick up little range improvements wherever we can. Okay, she's firing at us, and now we were returning fire at her. Five degrees at a time here. Okay. Let's get that broadside going. Should be able to fire the broadside now. Oh, look at this. Just when we start hitting, found another ship. Now that might be a heavy cruiser, I mean armored cruiser, which is, yeah, I mean, I would be interested in that, but it might also not be. So we're going to let it go for now. We have uh, eyes on the prize right now. Just take out what we have in front of us. It's out of ammo for guns of the bear, but really what they mean is my turret is jammed. Okay, there we go. It's landing with something. I'll take six inch guns. I mean, hey, it's a light cruiser taking six inch shell hits is, is pretty appropriate. I don't know how much the turn matters. We're actually getting full block broadsides off now. Okay. 
Okay, let me try to run this in normal, maybe I can do that. Yeah, let's basically turn this into a real-time strategy. If we've hit them enough that we've done any damage to their uh, ability to make speed, then we will win. That'll be the end for them. So we hope that that's what has happened. As we slowly pursue them. Getting darker. Do you want to watch out for torpedoes? Oh yeah, we do want to watch out for torpedoes. So I'll, I will be free of, oh, 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 and they are firing right away, okay. So the reinforcements have arrived, but we have a leg up. It'll be dark very soon. We just need to try to see if we can get some more damage. Imperator Alexander, we could take this thing too. Four 10-inch guns, we have eight 10-inch guns. Six-inch belt against their, whoa, okay, I take it back. They've also violated the treaty, 16,500. Nine and a half inch belt, my goodness. 21 knots, okay, well, we see the big difference here. We have speed, they don't, which means they have armor, and we don't, relatively. I'm gonna continue to focus, hopefully, on the Aurora, or Aurora. This is a mess of stuff coming at us, though. We've done some damage. I don't know what this is. It's terrifying. I'm going to peel off. Okay, that's probably a destroyer. So we'll definitely outrun whatever this is. And I think we'll pursue at a distance. Or we could maybe... What's our current speed? 18 knots. Just need a little bit of time to correct that. And then we can, st we still see the Aurora. We might as well beeline for her. Oh, another Aurora. Okay. They might be in formation, but we know which one is, is it on fire? No, but it's got heavy damage. We've actually destroyed several of their turrets. So I don't think she'll have the speed to get away from us. We close in, we finish her off. That's the idea. We get a kill out of this and that'll certainly be a victory. In fact, I, I dare say we might already have gotten the victory. Um, uh, okay, let's launch torpedoes now. We should have torpedoes, we do. Yeah, uh, it gets a question I get every time, by the way. This is low, um, low versus high. It's pretty easy to think that that's the, um, the chance to hit or something like that. It's actually the speed they're firing at. And you can see this for yourself. Anytime the torpedo is going the full arc, it'll say low. No matter what kind of weird angles there are, or no matter how obvious it should be for them to be hit, like in this case we have a dead stop ship. Um, and similarly, whenever the torpedo is going half the distance, it's, it's high. Let's see if any of those hit. Looks like one is certainly not, but one... Ah! Uh, looks like a hit to me. We'll double back. We have a few on the port side. One more launch here. Launch here. Just in case we can get a hit. And we'll just continue to continue this way. We are now engaging the Imperial Alexander. Did once again did not hit. Heavy damage. You are going down. Okay. Well, she's sinking. I'll play this game with the Imperial Alexander because I have speed on my side. We landed a hit. And it'll be nightfall now. Our best bet is probably make our way back to port. I'm glad I did not pull those corvettes into my area. Let's go down to 20 knots so that our poor coal stokers can get a small break shoveling coal. Oh, look at how cool this is. It's summer and it actually is not going to be nighttime at all. 
as soon as we go far enough north. How cool is that? And how many games do you know that model this? You know, that is really cool. Go down to cruise speed. Um, just want to save my engines. So it's just 15 minutes past midnight and we're already, you know, we're already back in business. So I'll move up to fast speed. We'll go patrol. We know that, oh, okay, well, that's that. So it was just one armored cruiser versus the other. And we're clearly the victors because we sunk, we sunk a ship. Let's take a look at the ship we sunk. Yeah, I'd miss with all four of our torpedoes, but you know, eventually all these hits added up. It looks like they did not take. Okay, the first one that they took damage from was a superstructure hit. You know, what would be interesting is if you got um, a kind of like a damage report, like oh, the shell appeared to explode in the superstructure. So you know, like, okay, I mean, I I think you might have some ability to determine where the explosions are going off. Maybe not, though. And yeah, we destroyed a few turrets. I'm trying to figure out where's the first time that she lost speed, though. Not sure. It might could have even been this hit. This... Probably submerged torpedo flat hit. That's those are always dangerous. Part of the reason why I don't like putting tor um, submerged torpedoes on my on battleships. Anyway, a, a victory. And just in time for Iceland's 12-inch battery to open up. Leonardo da Vinci. They're showing off their stuff right before the the big war. Yeah, this is funny because. <laughs> We aren't quite at war with them, but very nearly. Okay, submarines are doing great things against the Russians. They didn't sink any merchants and they actually lost three submarines. Cost is down. Yeah, I think we're in good shape. Three more months left on the design study of our, you know, um, atrocity. <laughs> It's such an atrocity of the eyes. I'm so sorry about that. I, I mean, look, I completely agree. There's, it's just, it's hideous. But if there's an opportunity, since aesthetics don't play any part in this game, putting it in the front, we don't get the rate of fire penalty. My hands are tied. I have to do it. Hmm. It's weird. It's just, oh, it's a Corvette. I was like, why is that 20 knots? So we can just keep ending the turn. It's really the pressure's on them to do something. Oh, okay. That might reset the... Please don't reset the... Damn. Well, that is sad. Now we're quite happy to have our submarines. Money is just pouring in as the people realize that it's really survive or, or bust. Now, luckily for us, we have all of our ships on active duty already, so shouldn't have any problems uh, with crew quality. Question. Yeah, we're still slightly over in Northern Europe. What I think I might have to do is send somebody home. I can't send my destroyers home. Um, Northern Europe, I have five here. And I have five here. These are uh, mine laying ones. So let's move just one of these, so seven. Now let's move two of these back. And then here we have five. And I guess if we move all five back, we should stop our shortage. So we'll rely totally on these ships. Only the Navy can win this war. Every time they ask, that's the answer. We got quality zero 13 inch guns. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, does that affect? I wonder if that should affect the way we design our ship. Okay. 
They have like no submarines, but apparently they still have enough to sink our ships. But Russia's getting, I mean, she's having some problems, which is good to see. And we're, and we're actually blockading German, uh, Italy as well. Things could definitely go, they, they could definitely be going worse. This is actually going pretty well. We're in a war and going 2v1. As Austria-Hungary. I mean, saying that as the United States is one thing. Saying it as Great Britain, that's one thing. Even saying it as Germany, but saying it as Austria-Hungary, that's just, it's crazy. It's crazy talk. In two different sea zones. <laughs> well, and that might actually be working in our favor. Since we don't really need to worry about being blockaded in Northern Europe, we just send a, a couple token ships up there. And we keep our home port defended. Okay, Leopold intercepts Italian Raider trying to... Oh, yes. Awesome. I haven't used the auto-resolve in a long time. We probably would have won because this Leopold is quite good. But we can also fight it. Just fight it outright. And it is an armored cruiser. Let's look at him. It only has a speed of 20 knots, has two 10 inch guns, 14 7 inch guns, and actually comparable armor. I feel like maybe the AI does change up its um, armor thickness based on what you're doing because, wow, we like we really, they, they're up armoring their armor cruisers more than I've ever seen, unless it's something related to a patch or something. But I'm pretty sure it's just a reaction to my, to my armor. Now we should win this eventually. I guess I can't do fast, but because we we can catch them. So as long as we have enough time. Yeah, here we go. As long as we have enough time to catch up. We're actually get, landing some hits. We're landing a lot of hits now. Let's just take a stock of the situation, what's happened. So they let off. Actually, no, we, we let off with two hits. Three hits. All of them were the six inch guns. They hit with their seven inch guns. Another hit, seven inch guns. I think, wait, are mediums? No, yeah, 10 inch guns are heavy guns. And then we hit with the six, 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 six. So we've hit with a lot of our six inch guns, but none of them, none of the big caliber weapons have landed yet. Another hit. Oh, finally with the 10 inch guns, fantastic. From this range, we're probably penetrating. We're pretty close. Got, we got a whole master and commander vibe going on here. <laughs> we're just slowly trying to catch up. Oh, wow, we had, there was a space bar, space bar. A couple turns that we got some good damage in. And this is of course why I really like having so many secondary guns. We're sporting what, 20 on this thing? Yeah, 10 per side, which is, I mean, I think it'll help, simply it'll help us win this. Just outright. They only have seven guns, seven seven inch guns per side. And they're only using two 10 inch guns, which is also obviously preposterous. 9,100 tons, man, this is hardly, this is like a heavy light cruiser more than it's an armored cruiser. And we're getting good damage in now. I'm just waiting for them to turn. Okay, we actually lit them on fire, which is devastating. They're turning away, not surprisingly. We will pursue. Right at the edge of torpedo range. And that might not be their torpedo range, so we have to keep that in mind. Okay, they are trying to evade. This is usually the death circle. So when their tail is facing us, Okay, that's... Oh! That's it! She's down! We win! So the new ship has performed very well. That wasn't like the stiffest competition. It had, it had matching armor. It was a good trial run, really. They are using quality negative one. They actually had crew quality of one. Very good crew quality. Okay. Good to know. But another victory. 
upgrade benefit to our AP projectiles. <laughs> and Italy's having problems now because they're blockaded. Russian Raider has been interned. Okay. Things are really going our way. All right, the Firkton is ready. Let's go to the rebuild screen. Oops. There it is. Let's put this back up where it should go. Bring you over, okay. So 29 tons remaining means that the tonnage situation did not change. We're still dealing with four, yeah, like, so the question is, what if we do this? I'm not even sure what the 10% change is. Cannot leave this screen, by the way. This is one thing that uh, annoys me a little bit, that if you leave this screen, it doesn't count. You have to restart. 14 inch quality one inch quality negative one or 13 inch. Let's take a look. At, I, I think we're actually going to look at the, the gun data here. Okay, so we are completely immune against our own guns. That's a good sign. Seventeen. Sixteen, wow. So the maximum range is sixteen two on these, and it's actually seventeen one on the quality zero thirteen inch guns. Huh. Boy, that really puts things in perspective, doesn't it? The quality zero guns are just much better. Now, is their penetration better? Let's take 10,000. 8.17, 0 0.95. 0 0.17, 0 0.95, what? It's exactly the same penetration? Wow, it is. Okay, well that's surprising. 10.26 at five. So it's a better penetration. 646 six at 16. Hmm. So this one drops off a little bit faster, which is expected. The you know velocity scales with the, the velocity fall off. I should say the drag coefficient usually scales um, goes inverse with the increasing weight, so the increasing size. I really don't know. This is kind of a tough call. These will be better in the end, but, and right now they're what we have. We can start building this right away. There's no other technologies which have really changed the weight remaining. We may just want to start building this thing right away, in which case we stick with the quality negative one 14 inch guns. And I'm going to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and start building some. Two for now, which is going to be pretty expensive on the budget as it is. If we can manage to just make it eight months, we'll be popping out some of these Mozarts, and then we'll have enough money to continue building the two we already started building. Yeah, none, and really we don't, I don't know how much is the Intel gonna affect things. I don't think Russia or Italy are gonna give us anything, so I'm just gonna say no Intel at all. We need to save our money right now. And I mean, the war will probably go our way pretty quickly. Convoy defense. I hate convoy defenses. I'm in decline. So they gain 100 victory points. As I have always said, this doesn't really play out enough for it to make a difference. Which is good since, you know, we don't like RNG determining the war. Do not let them off lightly. Ah! Uh! I hate Great Britain. Oh my gosh. We had him on the ropes. This is so preposterous. It's not that it's ahistorical, but it really is preposterous. 
We had them on the ropes. They were going to, we could have caused like a revolution of the government in both of them. Oh my gosh. We would have just starved them out. Well, I tell you, it's not fantastic timing that this happened like immediately after I started building my battleships. Oh my gosh. All right, so we need to do micromanagement of the foreign tundra situation. Let me take a look at what the requirements are. 2000, okay, that's very easy to meet. We'll continue to build up Iceland's base as well. So we'll get all of these back home. Now, can you just hit C and it cancels it? It does. Thank you so much for that comment. I think it was Potbellied Slim. That's very cool. So you can just target anything and then hit C to cancel their movement orders. Did not know that. Thank you. The Cronenbergs can also go home. Not that it really matters. And then we're back over here. Okay, so let's get... Um, this is 600, 600, so that's already 1,800. Yeah, we actually, pff, we have exactly the requirements already. <laughs> 2,000, right? So we have four times six, 2,400, plus these are actually 700 each. So I, I actually, are we okay with only three of them? Huh. Let me move this one back. I think we are. So everyone can go home except for these three. Oh yeah, well, you'll wait. Um, you can go to reserve. We'll be mothballing a whole bunch of these, but for now, we'll do that. Go to mothball. Go to mothball. Like we really gotta find a way to pay for these battleships. We might have to put some of these ships on hold. Dang. Seven more months. We can't make it currently. Oh boy. Submarines have been helped. God, freaking Great Britain, man. All right, I'm willing to go to war with Great Britain. I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. I'm gonna get my butt kicked. I just hate them so much. Always interfering in my affairs. Anybody else? Yeah, so you guys go to Mothball. I think I'll keep these two. Let's have you, well, these guys have gotta go both to reserve fleet. But I think I'll, yeah, we have too many, let's, do something like this, grab these guys, mothball. So we have five, that might not be enough, let's find out. We put these on reserve? Yeah, I cannot, that's fair. Okay, it's too many. So we'll take the homel off as well, and we're fine. We have cross deck fire now. That makes sense for Germany to be helping us with that. It's something big for Germany. We won't be using it though. I mean, I don't see any use case for it. We already have triple turrets. We have three center line turrets. We're in good shape. So we can probably finagle if I wanted a little bit more. Maybe get one of these to mothball and then pull one of the light cruisers off instead. Okay, does not work, so we'll, we'll undo that. Didn't really want to do it anyway, you know. I actually like these Indicas on reserve. Okay, new docks completed. We don't, we definitely can't. Oh god, these, this technology exchange in agreement with Germany is really kicking butt. But why with Germany? Why tensions? Why? 
Stupid Great Britain, man. Ah. Okay, crap. Cement it. ASW. Germany's really helping. Oh, damn. So, there it is. We've reached the... We've reached the end of the line. All right, hull construction on you, hull construction on the non-namesake. So buy us one more month. Uh, not quite enough time though. This is only gonna give us one month. We're gonna have to do two months, but I think we can just put another light cruiser on pause and that should last those two turns. Got a lot of a lot of discoveries just a a smidge away. Okay, really hope that we get these finished. That was awesome. Germany, oh man, Germany. <laughs> North Korea, it is pretty far away. Go ahead and get it. Because remember, the only way we can acquire it is if someone else gets it. Fantastic. Good job, Germany. And we're positive now. Perfect. Not only are we positive, but all these are working up right now. We can just put them on the mothball. For an extra 1,000. Go back, and I'm pretty sure we can resume all of them. Okay, not quite, almost. In a couple more months, we might be able to resume all of them. Okay, that makes sense, actually. We just built a whole bunch of new ships. Yeah, these Mozarts, I, I think I might even put some of them on reserve. One at a time here until we reach our limit. Because, yeah, there we go. They're a pretty good class of ship. And we're positive now. Oh, right. Resume, and then we're negative. But that's actually okay. So we have two more. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Um, we will sell the Italians this technology because it will allow us to keep building ships. British Russell. So they're using cross deck fire with 12 inch guns. 28,000, 23 knots. I have to say, our battleship, our, literally our dreadnought. By the way, it's a race. I forgot. We might need to accelerate one of our ships just so we can try to be the very first dreadnought in existence. Should we do it? Now, when you accelerate one ship, it does harm the, uh, the stats of everything else. Accelerating that right now would give us two. Let's go back to normal pace. Let this one finish. Now let's accelerate. Will it still be two? It is. Okay. I think it's a 10% drop. I'm pretty sure it's a 10% drop. So we'll do it here where we get the most benefit out of it. Because I don't, I think it's not rounded. I think it's just floored. So 1.9, well, 19 months I think goes down to one. No, that might not be true. It might be, well, let's just test it out. If we find out that it is true, then we can accelerate it at 10 months to just get one month faster. Uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be close. It'll be close. I'll, I mean, we're, look, we can just go over to Great Britain and see how long they've been building them for. Since 1915, which, what year is it? 19. Oh, no, this is the estimated, okay, it's obviously the estimated time to be delivered. In two years, look at, ours is going to be due in 20 months, which is around mid-1915. I think we do want to rush it. I want to do this. This is obviously just role playing. I want to be the first dreadnought out there. Let's do it. Let's accelerate. Come on, Ferkton. You can do it. Just come on. Okay, uh, what do we do? Eh, we'll handle it quietly and discreetly. So, no prestige from that last war, despite <laughs> what it should be, but. They want to buy whole construction, improved rolled shipbuilding steel. 
Again, I don't really care too much about the Italians, so I'm gonna let them do it. They might, I might come back to bite us in the butt just because they should. I, I guess they don't have much of a budget, but they don't have many ships, so they're gonna to want to build some new ships, and they'll be able to do that with better technology since I'm selling it to them. I st still think we'll be able to handle ourselves against them, though. So I'm, I'm rolling the dice. That's the case. We have a neutral budget, which means we're almost at the point in time when. We can build another battleship. Okay, 15 months. So she's going to finish oh, at the beginning of 1915. It's a race. Yes. We'll take it. Okay, that was a fantastic... Oh, give it maximum publicity. Great Britain must fall. Yes, we'll take that technology. Okay. Socialist Party is doing well in opinion polls. Might want to press for reduced armament expenditure after the upcoming elections. Hmm. We can suppress all socialist propaganda. Don't think that's necessarily the right one. Let's just sacrifice prestige to keep our budget up. All right, now we now have... Naval aviation has been discovered. I don't even know how, but there it is. Un I mean, there's just no two ways about it. That one always has to go up to the highest. Especially in the Mediterranean. It's just it's so important. We have not even discovered anything for naval, naval aviation lighter than air. I find that comical. <laughs> Steam turbines still, but we don't have oil firing quite yet. 10 months left. Oh lord, don't make me do this. Okay, let's... The funny thing is we actually can't see what each nation's building until one dreadnought or battlecruiser is put into existence. Those categories don't exist. However, we can look here. Okay, we have two battleships. They only have three ships. They only have one ship. I think we're going to be affected the worst. So we'll have to say no. Yeah. Okay, amphibious operations. That's another one that I think we need to prioritize. I'll put it on low for now, but eventually we'll come back to it. Maybe after we get oil firing, we'll switch over to, what's it called? Uh, a low on machinery and, and bump up the uh, naval invasions. Okay, keep going. Okay, and now we have shipboard aircraft operations. We'll have to put that on high as well. Um, send it to the magnet note. Okay, just keep pushing. Panama Canal opens. That's good for... Hey, wasn't it good? Didn't I take that as Japan? No, Germany. I think as Germany, I took the Panama Canal. <laughs> that was so cool. We weren't really able to use it much, but seven months away from the first dreadnought. Is it the first dreadnought? We keep looking. So far, yes. Everything says 1915. 1915. Great Britain's probably the front runner besides us. Uh, we'll see. But man, we have really gotten some better submarine, two reliability things in the last little bit. So what I want to do is go to submarines, put this on low, and let's take this as a build moment for submarines to catch up on our, yeah, it's not that our fleet has really been downsized at all. This will be in place of those dreadnoughts, unfortunately, but we'll just get 12, uh, 20 more, take our budget down to neutral, basically dead even. Okay, here we go, five more months. And that's good, but that's not the machinery development I wanted. Double torpedo mounts, this is very big. This is very big. So now we can build really competent destroyers. And now, you thought the, dest the destroyer spam and slaughter was bad before, we just wait. Four more months.
Nobody else has built it yet. I mean, it's it's a race. Oh, we only have two more months. Uh, we will sell it. Yes. One month. I think we're going to do it. Don't make me share the honor. I want it all for myself. See, they're doing it too, guys. They're also building... They're copying my design, I would like to say. Slapping a forward centerline turret right on top of their bridge. You went to zero! You freaking... This is so stupid. It doesn't go to... It doesn't... It goes to built. You don't say, I'm going to have it done in one week. And then the next week goes and you're like, hey, yeah, how's it doing? Yeah, yeah, we're on schedule. It'll be done in zero weeks. That means it's done now. You ding dong. Okay, there it is. The Furkton's here. And we'll buy whatever technology. Please do not say... Yes, we've done it. We have completed the first Dreadnought in the world. And with the name Dread on it, I think it's extremely appropriate. I really thought that this would be a great role-playing piece of, you know, thing. And it was more expensive to build, by the way. Much more expensive because um, ships under accelerated, I think they're 10% more expensive, maybe 15%. It's more than 10% because you get 10% discount on their... So maybe it's 20%. It's a, it's a loss of money. You do lose money, especially because once they're built, you've got to pay maintenance on them. So it's, it's even worse. We will mothball. I don't know. I'm not sure what we'll do with this one. I'm not sure. I'll put it mothball for now. We're going to call this video to a close here, though. We made it. I guess we could expand dock size. We don't really need to. This might be the last time I do it. But things are looking good. We got the first dreadnought out. Great Britain screwed us royally in that piece, which we would have been able to bring two nations to collapse, which would have been awesome. Hopefully we do the same thing against Great Britain with submarines. That's my new goal. Use the submarines, use all the submarines to defeat Great Britain. Now, I'm, by using all the submarines, I mean I don't plan to build more than we already have. I think we have enough to do that, but I'm, I'm gunning for them. Anyways, we'll see how it all plays out. Until the next one, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.